Does the um, sort of rational criminal approach suggest that everything else being equal, which it really is, that uh, longer sentences equals less crime? Um, did we? Did everyone hear the question? So, so. The question is excellent. It's, does the rational criminal approach suggest that longer sentences equal less crime? The answer is no. Because what it suggests is that, and Levitt proved, is that longer sentences deter crime. That's not the same thing. So other things going on. One is that when criminals are in prison, they can't rob your home. So there's also an incapacitation effect, which Levitt has separately measured. There's a third thing going on, uh, which is uh, what does... Uh, how does prison shape the experiences of criminals? Uh, what skills does it teach them? Um, and I'm thinking sort of macrame and so on, is, it probably isn't it, uh, isn't what they learn. So there are, there are different things going on. And then there are broader questions. So even if you are convinced that, that prison prevents crime taken as a whole, it's expensive, not just in terms of public money, but these are human beings. They may be criminals, but they're human beings. And so there's a cost in putting them away, a real human cost. And I show in the book, um, that actually the cost is not only borne by the criminals and the families of criminals, it can be borne by people who never ever met the criminals. So I show that in some parts of America, because sadly interracial marriage is still very rare, you have a, a, a racially isolated marriage market, and thanks to the war on drugs, you have a very large proportion of young black men in prison. And I show, well it's not my research, I describe the research, showing that that affects young African-American women who live in that area because they have, the number of men that are available to marry has gone down. And thus their bargaining power, remember the speed date, it wasn't just fun and games, their bargaining power has fallen. So I'm nervous. Somebody told me that the Conservative Party was reading my book. Now, I'm really nervous whenever I hear about politicians getting hold of one of my books. My book is an attempt to understand the world, to shine a few spotlights, to, to explain how different things work. Uh, and, and really to have fun. I mean, I'm just a curious person. I ask myself all these questions and I try and answer them. It's not a policy book. It doesn't have policy proposals in it at all. And from the empirical observation, it turns out that prison deters criminals to the policy implication, let's build some prisons. As a, there's a, they are way separate. It's useful to know, but there's plenty more to consider. And that's not just true of prisons. That's true of many, many other things that I describe in the book. So, Thanks for the question, because it gave me a, a tr an opportunity to make that clear. And uh, sorry I haven't been able to answer all the other questions. As I say, I'm, I'm happy to sign books, and I'm happy to answer more questions afterwards. But thank you very much for coming and for listening.